hey guys welcome back i hope you're all doing well so today i thought i would do my first product sort of company review i hope i don't get sued for this video i'm honestly not trying to talk badly or like say not to buy from this company but i feel like i have to share my experience okay so i came across this company a couple months ago when i was looking to buy face masks that i wanted one for myself and then i was also looking for fabric because three months ago i had this bright idea because it was getting more serious with corona that we were definitely going to need to wear face masks and that it wasn't going away i thought i would be smart and profit off of face masks so i figured i'd seen a couple people sharing on instagram that they were making these designer face masks meaning like using a certain type of fabric with a certain brand's name on it whether it's chanel or gucci or whatever i went on google one day so the first company that popped up was this company called humble cloth i don't know if they paid google to appear at the top of the search results so it seemed pretty legit they had all these different types of face mask fabric and things for sale so i'm like okay cool so i spent a while looking on their website and i placed my order on may 1st pretty sure it's had lipstick on my teeth for the past two minutes but it's fine we're moving on on their website they said that they were still shipping even though covid was happening i don't really think that they gave a duration or like shipping time they just said that they're still open and shipping orders it was a couple weeks they confirmed my order but i never got any other thing i never got a shipping number or tracking details i was checking their website a couple times a week to see if they're making any updates about when are they shipping orders. I noticed a couple times throughout the month of May they kept updating their information. At first they said that they were still open and shipping orders and then a couple days or a couple weeks later it was that orders were going to be shipped in five to seven days and it was orders are going to be shipped in two weeks. Then they changed it that it could take up to 21 days. They also wrote that they don't ship on holidays or the weekends, so it would only be basically Monday through Friday when it came to business days. So I was getting a little bit annoyed because I did not like the fact that they kept changing the information on their website. I understand that you're a small company, but say that you can only take so many orders a day. I started reaching out a couple times. I emailed them a total of three times, um, I think once in May and then two times in June they would send out like an automated email that shipping time is just taking a while like please be patient we're a small company blah 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 that was just a general email that they were sending to like whoever probably bought items they never once responded to any of the emails that i sent them well i think the last time i had emailed them was june 8th and i still had not heard anything okay this is ridiculous what really pissed me off about this company was that they had changed their information again on their website. We're going to put things as out of stock just so that they could get caught up with the orders they had. They never did that, so they were still taking orders, probably just to profit, and then it's like whenever we get to your order, you can, you'll can you get it. After not hearing anything for about a month, I went through my bank on June 15th, which, let me, just have to fill out basically a dispute form and explain the situation, how much it was, what did you buy, where did you buy it from. Oh, it just says, this letter is in reference to a dispute form received by us on June 15th in regards to the above mentioned transaction. We will attempt to pursue credit on your behalf from Amazon. That's another thing to mention is that when you pay for anything from this company, it goes through Amazon Pay, which honestly, I should have just went through Amazon. My bank, it says that it could take up to 90 days to resolve. So if you did buy things from them and you are trying to get a refund, I would definitely recommend going through Amazon Pay unless you know through your bank how long it's going to take. On July 28th, I finally got an email saying that my order has shipped so i finally got my order and it's july 31st so we're gonna open this and see what we have i only ordered two things it was about 38 dollars. it was fabric and a face mask so it comes in this little package here so they give me a receipt uh, they highlighted something i don't know why i mean i don't know maybe the fabric came out of the country to the company they're shipping from north carolina i'm in pennsylvania that's literally crazy we're on the same coast time for the reveal of the items the first thing i got in case you're interested in getting it this is the designer inspired light pink and white face mask so this is just a louis vuitton inspired face mask the face mask materials like silky i don't want to put it on because i want to wash it first okay this is something really random but like okay i don't care because i waited three months to get these products so i can pick it apart i don't care all right, so one side is like completely normal, like a loop. And then the other side, it looks like they sewed two loops together or like 
one half of a loop and another half so that's just something random i mean or maybe it was one long piece that looped around probably that i don't know i just don't like <laughs> it's on one side and not the other it is pretty though i figured okay i'll buy some fabric put these up on etsy so i bought this and i'm not gonna do it now i really don't even know what i'm gonna do with this fabric but it's very pretty okay i'll give them that it was really nice fabric so it's just this louis vuitton purple designer inspired cotton candy big spandex i thought it was more pink i need to go online and look because i literally forgot what i ordered i don't know why they highlighted it so i'm like did they send i don't know i think this should have been like more pink and it's more purple in person this looks online and i think the picture just makes it look like makes the pink look a little bit brighter but i think it is supposed to be this color so it's just <laughs> this fabric um i mean i don't know i guess i'll just use it as a cape now because i don't really i don't care to make a face mask or anything with it now so my overall opinion now about this company is that the quality is really good and i think it looks really beautiful in person and it feels really nice i just don't appreciate that there was no communication there you're not really notifying people that paid for these items when they're gonna get their shipment I'm not saying not to buy from them. I think you should just be aware before you buy them because I actually saw one girl on Instagram commented. She said she was doing like a bikini pre-sale with fabric from the website. She didn't have the fabric for the bikinis yet and people were buying them. And they're pretty much not even made really then. If you are looking to get this fabric in a couple weeks, that's not happening. I would just say to be aware of that. Sorry, I just noticed though. <laughs> okay, I was saying the, the fabric is really good quality, but the cutting, girl, can we see that? It's all jagged right there, but whatever. So I'm just happy, though, I finally got my stuff after waiting for three months. I will use this face mask. It's just another one to add to my collection. If you are interested in getting fabric and stuff like that, you can check them out. But I just wanted to share the products and my experience because I know a lot of people are wondering about their items and stuff. To be completely honest, like when you search this company, like I could not find anything on them. That's also another reason that I thought I was getting scammed because I'm like, why is no one writing about this company? Why can I not find them on, on anything? I thought I would make a video for those out there that might be in the same situation that I was in. Hope this was helpful if you are wondering about it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about anything else. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.